it's Jane Porter here. I'm so excited and proud that Brian the Brave by Paul Stewart and illustrated by me has won the Derby Children's Picture Book Award and I'd like to say a huge thank you from me and Paul to all the children in the Derby schools who voted for this book to win the award. We're both very very proud and happy and it's particularly special for me because my grandparents lived in Derby in Little Over and I used to go and visit them there very often when I was a little girl so I've got very fond memories of Derby. What I'm going to do in this little film is show you a little bit about how I made the art for Brian the Brave. It's all made out of collage so I cut and tore every single piece of paper so every little feather every blade of grass has all been cut out and glued down um, it's quite a painstaking process but I enjoy doing it and um, I'm going to show you how to make your own collage sheep so let's have a look at how so I've got some of the actual artwork from the book here to show you um, this is Brian and when I first did Brian he didn't have white wool I decided to give him a coat made out of this old book um, but we decided that was a bit confusing so he got a different sort of coat later um, this is is it Cassidy or is it Lou it's one of those two party sheep um, so I made her by layering different textures like this you can see Oh, it's Hamish. It's Hamish. I squiggled with a pencil on the different papers that I'd painted with a colour first. The legs are just cut out of black paper. And the head here of Hamish, I made the texture for that by just dipping an old rag in some paint and squiggling it onto some paper and then letting it dry. Um, one of the things I enjoyed particularly in the book was making all the little details like the flowers and the wildlife. So these are a couple of buttercups. I wanted to make them quite realistic. So I looked up the shape of buttercup leaves. Um, these are the party hats for Hamish, Cassidy and Lou. And here are some butterflies. So I'll show you how to make the butterflies in a minute. So the first thing to do if you're going to do some collage is to get lots of interesting materials ready. So I've got, I've got a big drawer marked collage here and I've fished a few things out of it. So you can see that I've just painted onto paper, mixing paints and layering different colours together to get some interesting textures to use. This one I blobbed orange paint with a brush on top of the yellowy colour. Today I'm going to make a sheep that is going to be a black sheep but I'm going to use this wax candle, you can see I've actually been burning it, I'm going to use that as a crayon to squiggle on some interesting patterns. A little bit of paint, I'm just using some black gouache paint which is like a same as poster paint, it's a water based paint. Put plenty of water in with it. And then paint that over here. You can see that where I've squiggled, you're getting an interesting pattern coming up. Some slightly darker areas for a bit of variety. So that I think will make a really nice sheep when it's dry. I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit now. Right, so this is dry. I've got a black wax crayon. I'm just going to use the side of the crayon to add a little bit more texture. So there we have the beginnings of a sheep. I have to think of a brand new name for this one. So the legs. I like the legs to have a little bit of a curve to them. Thing like this. Three and four. And then what I did with the book was I cut out the neck. 
and the shape of the face, which is a little bit like this. Is layer that up so I can cut two at the same time. I like to give these sheep quite long expressive ears, and I think it's because I actually really like rabbits. Maybe I want the sheep to be rabbits. So, this is the really fun bit where you can experiment with moving all these parts around until you get your sheep just how you want it. So have the ears back like that. Let's put the body on. See that way around. So if you want it to look as if your sheep is just standing in the field waiting for something to happen, like Brian at the start of the story, you can have the legs like that. But you might want to bring a bit of action into the scene and imagine the sheep is running or just saying hello with one leg up like that or running with the legs right up like this and maybe the head is going to be coming forward like that. So you can see with collage you can try out all sorts of different things before you actually start sticking. So one more thing this shoot needs is an eye, a white circle, and glue that down. Maybe actually what I'm going to do is just make this sheep really smile by cutting smiley mouth out there. There we are. So now I'm going to make a little bit of background. Just add a little bit of grass. That sheep be running across. And let's make flower. This would make a really nice sunflower. So I'm going to cut these out. So these brush blobs are going to be some really lovely big petals. Do a yellow centre. And a stalk. Finishing touch here could be a butterfly. Let's do a blue one. So I'm going to make sure the butterfly is symmetrical by folding that in half. There's two wings, two more for the top. There's the butterfly body. to stick down. So why don't you have a look around the house, see what interesting papers you can find and try some collage of your own. <laughs>